Good morning. It's time for a read write ink lesson now. So we are going to start off by doing our speed sound straight away today because we've got a lot of words and sentences to get through today. So let's do our speed sounds together and then you can have a go with your grown up. We ready? K. Mm. And wh wow, phew, super speedy sounds. Well done. Now, before you go off and do that with your grown up, let's have a look at what our sound of the day is today. Here it comes. It's the sound R. Well done. And when we do the sound R, we think about a robot, don't we? R. Robot. R. Robot. Robot. Uh, well done. And we go down his back, and then we go back up again, and then we curl over his arm. It's a bit like the robot has got stuck and he's run out of battery, hasn't he? And his arm is stuck out the side. So down his back, and then curl over his arm. Can you think about anything that starts with the sound R? Maybe your name starts with R, or you have an R in your name. Can you see anything around your house that starts with the sound R? I'm going to show you some things that I have that start with the sound R. Let's have a look. Ready? My turn first. R, R, rabbit. Your turn. My turn. R, R, rainbow. Your turn. My turn. Er, er, rocket. Your turn. My turn. Er, er, robot. Your turn. Really good. Well done. Now, have a go at doing the speed sounds with your grown-up. You might be able to spot our sound of the day. <laughs> And then I will see you in a minute. Bye. Well done. Give your grown up a big high five. Fantastic speed sounds. Now, I did say that we've got quite a lot of green words to do today, haven't we? So let's have a go at doing those together first, and then you can have a go with your grown up. Are we ready? Here we go. Mm. A n man. Flat. Flat. Black. Black. In. In. Long. Are you having a go with me? Well done. Oops. Can't get that one. Ah, there it is. B I N. Bin. R A D. Red. Good job, guys. Well done. K A P. Cat. Super job, keep going. A and and. Wow, you are doing really well. G -a -t, get. W -i -th, with. U -a -d, lad. Dog. Great.
great job. Keep going. Sock. 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 Socks. Leg. Leg. Legs. Very good. Well done. Phew, that was a lot of green words today. Can you have a go now at doing those green words with your grown up? Off you go, and I'll see you in a minute. Hello again. Well done for doing all of those green words. Well done for having a go and trying. Now it's time for us to read some sentences now. Oh, hello Fred, how are you? You're okay. You've just been for a walk. Oh, that's lovely Fred. Did you see anything nice on your walk? You saw a few things. You took some photographs. Well, that's a good idea. Would I like to see them? Yeah, I would. Would you like to see Fred's photographs, boys and girls, of things that he saw on his walk. Yeah, we would love that, Fred. You saw some quite funny things. Oh gosh, let's have a look. Is this your first photograph? Yes, let's have a look. What did Fred see? He saw a man. And what's the man wearing? wearing a cap. Yeah, what kind of cap is the man wearing? Well, it's quite flat, isn't it? A flat cap. Yeah, that's a lovely photograph, Fred. Thank you for showing us that one. What else did you see on your walk? Let's get another one. Oh, what did Fred see? He saw a dog. Yeah. And what do you notice about the dog? He has very long legs, doesn't he, this dog? Very long legs, Fred. Yeah. What other things did you see? You got another photograph. Oh, look. Fred saw a little boy on his walk. What was he doing, Fred? Oh, he's having a picnic. And what's the little boy wearing? He's wearing a blue football kit. And what colour socks is he wearing? He's wearing red socks. Yeah, do you think he'd been playing football? He had. What a good photo. Thanks, Fred. Did you see anything else? You did. Do you want to go and get it? Oh, he's got it. Have a look. Oh, this is a funny picture, Fred. It is. What did you see? I saw a bin. What colour is the bin? It's black. Yeah. And what's happening? There's a man trying to get in the bin. Yeah, why was the man trying to get in the bin, Fred? He dropped his keys. Oh no. Oh, Fred said he was putting some rubbish in the bin and he, by accident, he accidentally put his keys in the bin too. Oh no, Fred, did he manage to get them? He did. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> so you found lots of funny things on your walk, didn't you? Let's have a look at them again. So you found... Oh, a man in a flat cap. Yeah. And you saw a dog with really long legs. Yeah, it was funny. And you saw a little boy having a picnic and he was wearing red socks. Yeah. And last you saw a man trying to get in a bin. <laughs> Did that make you laugh, Fred? 
It did. Well, I'm glad he found his keys. Phew! What an interesting walk you had, Fred. It's fun to take photographs when you go out on a walk, isn't it? Yeah. Now, we've got some sentences to read now about your walk. Should we have a look at them? You sit down there, Fred. And um, boys and girls, can you help me to read these sentences? Let's have a look. Oh, what do we say when we see an app by itself? We say A. M. A. N. Man. I. N. In. A. F. U. A. T. Flat. A p cap. A man in a flat cap. Fred did see a man in a flat cap. Look at the next sentence. What do you think it might be? What else did Fred see? A d o g dog. W -th with U -a -ng long U -a -g -s legs a dog with long legs he did see a dog with long legs what else did Fred see can you remember A and A and and A U A D lad W I th with U A D red S O K S socks and a lad with red socks. What does lad mean? Lad. That's right, it means boy. Lad is another word for boy. And Fred did see a boy with red socks. So a lad with red socks. What was the last thing that Fred saw? Can you remember? Let's have a look. G, a, t, get, I, n, in, a, b, u, a, k, black, b, i, n, thin. Get in a black bin. <laughs> the man had to get in a black bin to find his keys. Poor man, it must have been a bit smelly in there. <laughs> now, can you have a go at reading those sentences with your grown-up? Have a go. If you're not sure on some words, I'm sure your grown-up will help you, okay? So have a try and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Hello, did you have a go at reading all of those sentences? No way, that is amazing. Well done for having a try. Give your grown up, that was a lot of sentences, a high 10 because you did so well. Fantastic, well done, I'm so proud of you. Now, next we're going to have a go at writing some of our speed sounds and a couple of green words with Fred. And there's quite a lot of speed sounds today, so I think we'll just do half of those. So I'm just going to get a few of them. Let's do this many today. Otherwise, we'll be here all day writing all of those sounds, won't we? So we're going to start off by doing our k sound. Two letters that make one sound, a curly cu and a kicking cu. Are you ready? 
So we need to curl around the caterpillar and then we need to go down the kangaroo's body, up his tail and then down his legs. Flick! And that's two letters that make one sound. Fantastic. Well done. Now, the next sound is ng for a thing on a string. And to do the ng sound, we need a n and a g. So down Nobby and over his net, flick. And then round her face, down her hair and give her a curl. Two letters that make one sound. Ng. Great, well done. Okay, the next sound is th, th, or thank you. So remember the princess says thank you to the horse for rescuing her. So we need to do a t and a h. So down the tower, flick, and across the tower. And then down the horse's head to his hooves and over his back. And that's two letters that make one sound. Very good. And if I'm going a bit quick, just pause me. Okay, the next sound is O oh, for orange. And we have to go all around the orange. Ready? All around the orange. Easy peasy. Now the next sound is s slither down the snake. Ready? Slither down the snake. Super. Now the next sound is g, g for girl. So we go round her face, down her hair, and then give her a curl. And remember, if you have a line, in your book, you need to go under the line. So round her face, down her hair, and give her a curl. Great job. Okay, the next sound is e, e for egg. And we need to lift off the top and scoop out the egg. Oops. Lift off the top and scoop out the egg. Excellent. Okay, the next sound is mmm. And we need to go down Maisie, mountain, mountain flick. Ready? Maisie, mountain, mountain flick. Mmm. Marvellous. Okay, the next sound is ooh. And remember, we go down the long leg, flick. Down the long leg, flick. Ooh. Okay, the next sound is t, t for tower. So we go down the tower, flick, and across the tower. Ready? Down the tower, flick, and across the tower. Terrific. Great job. Now we need to give Fred a shout so that we can see which green words Fred would like us to write today. Should we give him a shout? Fred! 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 Oh, there you are, Fred. You walked right past me. Which words would you like us to write today? like us to write the word man. M-A-N. Man. Just like the man that you saw when you were out on your walk. Yeah. Let's use our Fred fingers to do the word man. Can you help me? M-A-N. Man. What does man begin with? Mmm, well done. Maisie, mountain, mountain, flick. Mmm, 
man. M a. Well done. Round the apple. Oops. Round the apple and down the leaf. Flick. Man. M a. Mm. Good listening. Down Nobby and over his net. Flick. M a. N. Man. Did you write man? Oh, well done. Great job. Now I'm going to do one more green word. What would you like to write, Fred? Oh, Fred said l a d. l a d. That's right. He said lad. Can you remember what lad means? It means a boy. Well done. Should we have a go at writing lad? Let's show Fred how to write lad with our Fred fingers. Ready? Lad. L-A-D. Lad. What does lad begin with? Oh, good listening. So we need to go down the long leg. Flick. Lad. Ooh, ah, ah, fantastic, well done. Round the apple, down the leaf, flick. Lad, ooh, ah, d. Great job. So we need to go round the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, down to his feet, flick. Super job. Ooh, ah, d. Lad. Well done. You have done a fantastic job today in Read Write Inc. Now have a little brain break and then we'll come back and do our tricky monster of the day. Should we say goodbye to Fred for now? Goodbye Fred, we'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you in a minute boys and girls. Bye. Hello, it's time to do our tricky monster of the day. But before we find out what it is, let's have a look at all the tricky monsters that we've learned so far. Are you ready? You say their name. Here they come. Go. Two. Out. We, me, I, Mr, my, so, He, B, Mrs, One, Her, Oh, Was. We learned this one yesterday, didn't we? Was. The. Do. No. That's all of our tricky monsters. Wow, we have learned a lot, haven't we? Now, which tricky monster do you think we will be learning today? Have a look and have a guess, and you can see if you're right. Have you got an idea? Let's sing our Tricky Monster song and then we'll find out. Tricky words, tricky words, don't get tricked by tricky words, they're tricky. Let's have a look. Which one's it going to be? Oh, is it over here? No, it's this one. Did you guess it 
it right. It's this purple chicky monster and he only has one eye. And on his tummy is the word ah. Can you say that? Ah. Sounds a little bit like our sound of the day, doesn't it? Ah. I might say, are you coming to my house? Or are you feeling okay? Or are you hungry? Can you think of a sentence you could say with the tricky word are? Good idea. Now, let's have a look at the sounds on his tummy. A, r, e, a, r, e. Is that a word? No, we can't sound tricky monster words out, can we? Because the tricky monsters have changed the sounds to trick us. He has. We can hear the r sound, can't we? But he's put an e at the end that we can't hear. He's tricky, isn't he? So we have to look this tricky monster word in our head so that when we see it, we remember that this is the word ah. Should we lock it away? Ready? In our brain box. Ch ah. And to help us remember this new word, let's stick it somewhere in our house so that every time we walk past, we can say ah. So he knows that we haven't tricked, he hasn't tricked us. I think I'm going to put mine on my back door. So every time I walk out into my garden, I will see this tricky monster and I can say, ah, where are you going to put yours? Good idea, well done. Now keep practicing Oops. all of your tricky monsters, won't you? So they stay in your brain box and I'll see you soon.